I lived on the south side of Milwaukee my entire life, in a neighborhood called Harder's Oaks. My parents moved in when they got married in 1996. I was born in 1998, so I'm now 21. To say that having to move now would be a change for me would be an understatement. It was always my dad's dream to move to a farm. In January of this year, 2020, my parents found a farm in the township of Hubbard in the city of Horicon. By the end of February, my parents had gotten an offer accepted. Although I wasn't looking forward to leaving my childhood home, discovering a new farmhouse and two barns would be an exciting journey, to say the least. What are you picking up, Nick? These are chestnuts, I think. From this big tree behind you? Yes. Here's Uncle Mike helping pick up chestnuts. Having a ball. Literally. Yeah. We already burned a pile up bigger than this. Yeah. Only 4,000 more. So it begins. My first time. Uh -huh. To a, where? To a horicon. To a horicon. A horicon house. A horicon haunting. Uh -huh. mm, looking at your 13 year old bedroom with your 21 year old self and all the stuff you've added over the past eight years in here. Yeah. I have lots of favorite memories. Most of them are all after you were born. There are good memories, there are bad memories. I remember being outside with you all the time. You constantly wanted to be outside in the yard. I can remember you being six months old and we went and threw a blanket, you and I did, out on the front lawn and just laid on the blanket and were looking up at the sky. And it was like one of the first warm days of spring. Some of my favorite memories are Christmas memories, decorating for Christmas, baking, crafts when you're little, homeschooling is probably one of my very favorites. Walking Rudy and Tiffany on blocks, right? Um, yeah, the pizza parties, movie nights, parties in the basement. So basically, I don't know how much room we're going to have, but um, bag, bag. Let's do about those long ones. Okay, so just like No, Nick, no. Forget about this. <laughs> Alright, so what was that? What's that? Knife? Knife. <laughs> Isn't that what it sounded like? 
Taking the boys with. Hey, I'm taking the boys with me. Hold on. Hey, you guys. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Tuck it in there. Henry, you're going to be stuck in that corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, you you doing good. You guys are sitting at the table having a beer. Keep going, Henry. Yeah, cops gotta get that down. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually pull on that. Oh, Dad. Yeah. That's what happened That's to me. That's what happened to me. Hey, who's over here? <laughs> who's around me? Yeah. If you can. <laughs> oh, all right, everyone go in like a clown car. Hang on to it. Grab material or whatever. All right, we're, we're through the door. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. <laughs> we're doing it. One, two, three, push. Oh, God. <laughs> One, two, three, Lost it. <laughs> I'm too far away. Oh. Oh. Okay, where are we at? We're up. Same floor. It's a wind. That's scary. Look at Nick. Right here. What? <laughs> don't want to get out. I told you Horicon's haunted. Right, we're see what happens up there. Brian said he's not going to spend the night anymore. Results of my first time moving, a bruised knee, and this. So when it came to moving from a big city of Milwaukee to a small town of Horicon, it was a dream or idea I had as a young kid. My uncle would talk about living on a farm and my grandma had lived on a farm. And it's something that I had thought about for a long time and after getting married, uh, my wife and I had thought maybe someday we could move out of the city and into a small town, maybe get some land. And uh, finally we were able to do that. It took a long time, I would say, a better part of my lifetime to do that. And um, the move has been really good. It's quite different. 
from living in a big city. The biggest thing I can say that I love about it is the peace. The fact that the traffic is a lot less. There's not a feeling of stress of things going on around me. And as far as getting away from all the hustle and bustle is a peace of mind that is priceless. And uh, I love that the most.